my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Lynch and McGuanagal, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commit Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Fins popping, it. saying hello. Yeah. I'm a healthy Malax walleye. And you're not big enough. We've got the secret weapon right here. We'll be staying up all night long. I'll tell you that. Twelve pack of this. We'll be set. What? I appreciate you letting us uh, come out here and do some night fishing here tonight. You know, this bite has been actually pretty good up here at night, huh? It is, it is. And that's one thing about Mille Lacs Lake. It's, you know, you got your prime times morning and evening, but right. the, the overnight, uh, sometimes the guys will actually catch so many fish, they'll actually take the bells up so they can get some sleep. So, Holy cats, yeah. that's what your wife Karen was yeah. saying that when we were in at the, back at the resort right there. You know, these big shacks, how many of these big shacks do you have? We have uh, 34 like these, uh, 29 that are the bigger sleepers, and okay. then a few smaller day houses too. So. Holy cats, and these shacks are fully heated. They've got what, you got six and eight hole shacks? Yep, yeah, this is actually a 10 hole here. And Holy they go all cats. The way to 14 holes, so. That many holes, yep. and they're interesting. Well, let's go in and check out this shack. Sounds good. Yeah. Kevin, I gotta ask you, yep. how do you pull these big shanties <laughs> out here? I mean, you can't just like drag this thing down the road, do you? No, we've got some, uh, some big trucks. Okay. And these are all on, on skis, too, huh? Holy yeah. Holy cats, you keep the heat on in here all, all the time? All, all, all year long. Holy man. Yeah, this is, I wouldn't think that you guys would heat these things, too, with constantly when you're not in here. I was thinking, boy, it's going to take a while to warm this thing up here. Yep. And all the holes are all drilled. Holes are all drilled, so all we got to do is grab the uh, grab a middle, put it on a rattle reel, and we're fishing. Okay. Can you kind of show us how, how the rattle reel works? You know, in Wisconsin, nobody really uses a rattle reel. Sure. Let's get a few lights turned okay. on Okay. All propane lights? The propane lights. And what this does is gives us a little more time on the battery, so you can watch TV a little later if you want. Okay. Or in the middle of the night when you get that rattle reel to go off, you can uh, just hit the battery bar lights and you'll have plenty of light. So you're saying uh, rattle reels? Yep. That's you know that's a Minnesota thing for sure. It is. So we'll, so rattle reel. What it is is just loosen the wing nut here. Just okay. Got a normal rattle. It, it, it's kind of like setting up a tip up. Right but there's a rattle inside of it. So that's Interesting. Gonna, that's gonna wake you up in the middle of the night when that big 25 incher comes through the... Wow. Air. And the, uh, we're set at the right depth, so we're just gonna put a minnow on. Okay. Send it right on down. Now, how deep are we fishing right here? I didn't bring my Vexlar this, in yet. This is actually the top of one of the humps. Okay. We're about uh, 23 feet right here, 23, 24 feet. No, you're just hooking that minnow right straight through the back. Yep, right through. Okay. Just try to make sure you miss, miss the uh, backbone. Yep. And then you just send it right on down. And how far off the bottom is that bait going to be sitting? We, uh, we, we kind of stay them all, but between six inches and a foot and a half off okay. the bottom. You know, in, in Wisconsin, Kevin, we've got a three-line limit. What is your line limit here in Minnesota? So in Minnesota, in the wintertime, we can use two per person. Okay, and in, in the summer, one line. Yep. Right, okay. okay. 
two per person, so it doesn't matter if it's two tip-ups or two jig rods, but two lines. Exactly. Okay. All right. We're, we're that's fishing. it? We're fishing. Holy cats. That's as easy as it gets. You know, I know you fish a ton of tournaments and your brother fishes a lot of tournaments. And but in, so you've been to lakes all over the country fishing walleyes. And it is amazing how every lake kind of has its own technique. And you know, some of that technique works in other spots, but when you come to that body of water, you're always better off taking the advice to somebody that lives there and guides there and knows what's going on, at least to start with that. And boy, I'll tell you something, it's interesting when you look at a clear body of water like this and you know the different bites and at night in, in like I was saying before, Winnebago is a clear body of water now too, but we don't have a big night bite out there. Most of the fish are caught during the day huh. and which is kind of the opposite on this body exactly. of water. Exactly. And, and you go just north here a little further, Lake of the Woods. Yeah. Same way. It's it's primarily a day bite up there and, and uh, but yeah, it, it's just certain lakes have different tendencies. And same thing, Lake of the Woods. You want to use a full minnow on your jig stick all the time. Okay. When, when you're jigging, and, and this is just a little different. Right, just a minnow header and the minnow tail. Yep. All right, that sounds great, Kevin. Hey, okay. I appreciate you. All right, well, good Big luck. time, thanks. Big Snow Resorts, your destination for winter family fun in the north. Enjoy two resorts on one ticket. With over 400 skiable acres, it's the largest ski experience in the Midwest. Full service resorts offering pro shop service, hotel, chalet, and trailside condo lodging, six dining facilities, four bars, and with weekly special events, exceptional fun for everyone. For details, please call or visit BigSnowResorts.com today. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, warrior boats are built to last. Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. That's the rattle reel. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 it's a nice fish. Very nice fish. Oh, come on. Stay on there. Oh, look at this walleye. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Hey, I'll tell you what. Think, thanks to our good friend Kevin McQuaid that uh, let us stay in one of his sleeper shacks here. And I'll tell you, that is absolutely a ball. You know, before it was kind of funny because we got in the shack and we were jigging before for about an hour and a half and really didn't mark much. And I was listening to what Kevin had said and he had said that this water is so clear and these fish are real spooky. So I said, hey, let's turn off the lights and put, uh, you can have two lines a piece, so we got four rattle reels down here. And I'll tell you what, what an awesome fish. And we haven't even been in the bunks for probably 10 minutes, and we shut the TV off and got quiet in here, and that's what you get. That is absolutely an awesome fish. You know, I'm looking forward tomorrow to fishing with the ladies and uh, Barb Carey and her event going here, but uh, 
you know what we figured since we were up here instead of staying in the hotel let's take advantage of and do a little night fishing because I've always heard a lot about these rattle reels that is absolutely an awesome walleye hey, got one going tell you what I miss it 30. 2.30 in the morning. Oh, he's got the line down pretty good. Oh, it's good fish, dude. 2.30, that's a better fish, good fish. Holy cats, he's fighting like crazy. Oh, look at this one, look at that. Oh, 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 oh look at that walleye. Holy cow, oh, look at that. Oh, this is worth 2.30 in the morning. Look at this thing. <laughs> Look at the size of these walleyes here on Lake Mille Lacs. I'll tell you something, 2.30 in the morning, and it's amazing because we were just laying there and you just hear them rattle reels going, <clears throat> Woo! and that is absolutely beautiful fish. Wow, what a way to fish, I'll tell you that, coming out to these sleeper shacks and absolutely very unique, boy. Ooh, I gotta wake up here a little bit. This is something. I would definitely uh, do this again. First time I've ever experienced this sleeping out on a lake here, even though all the ice fishing I've done in my life, and uh, again, never rented a sleeper shack. And boy, I tell you, it's gotta be probably 70 degrees in here, and just absolutely awesome, awesome way to do it. Wow, look at the size of that fish. <laughs> that is an absolutely beautiful walleye. Back in the water. Look at that. <laughs> you later, girl. Come on in. Hey, you guys. How's it going? It's going great. Hey, did you guys have a good night last night? Uh, we did. We caught four walleyes. We got a 24-incher. It was the biggest. Holy cats. Who got that one? I was one. You got that 24-inch walleye. Yeah. Wow. The kids were sleeping. Well, that's awesome. Hey, we have our own TV show, which airs. I sleep. Oh, really? Did I sleep? You were sleeping? I, I got to admit, I fell asleep last night a couple times, too. Yeah. But we have our own TV show, which airs every week. So we do 52 new shows. We're one of only two shows in the whole country. And our show is all about getting more kids and more families involved in, in hunting and fishing. So awesome. last night when I saw you up at the office right there, and I knew you had the kids, I didn't know you had your wife with you too. So I thought well, that was awesome that we'd come over and see how you guys did last night. Yeah, it's a family affair. It is. You know, what really, what, so what brings you guys up here to, to Mille Lacs Lake and, and at Max here? Well, first off, uh, Max Twin Bay, the, uh, the service is awesome. Um, they always put us on fish, um, and of course, you know, as a family, we like to uh, try to instill values, and what better way to instill oh, values in your kids than taking them fishing? You ain't kidding about that, boy, I'll tell you. That is, uh, family values and, and fishing go hand in hand, you know, and that's, uh, that's a big thing about our show. Hey, you guys, I also brought you some stuff. I brought you some awesome. magazines, Oop, Badger Sportsman's Magazine, that's one of our sponsors. So you guys, it's a Wisconsin magazine, even though we're in Minnesota, but it's uh, there's a lot of great articles and stuff in there. And hey, do you guys like beef jerky at all? We love that. This is a big sponsor of ours too, it's called Mike's Country Meats. And I brought you some jerky, different flavors. This is, yep, that is the honey. This is, does anybody like hot jerky? Ghost pepper? And it does. Really? Ghost pepper, there you go. And, this is the regular jerky right here. You like the regular stuff? There you go. And guess what? What do you guys say? You're welcome. And I'll tell you what, I could smell the stuff cooking from over in my shack. So guess what I brought you? This is another new sponsor of ours. It's called Burger Smokehouse. It's a, a very, very great company, I'll tell you that. And their, their pork products and all their products are, are top notch. But this is a new product right here for us to promote and uh, you know one thing about our show too is we love to eat you know besides fishing we love to eat you're in the right house. so i'm gonna have you cook this up for yourself and the, the kids and and tell me what you think about it there you go Thanks. there you go hey this week's tip of the week is brought to you by our good friends over at mike's country meats there up in tigerton some of the finest jerky on the planet and the tip of the week is 
Make sure when any time you're using a bait, it doesn't matter if it's a spoon or some type of hyperglide bait, is that you want to make sure that you have a good swivel in there and you want to make sure you got a snap in there. You know, little things make such a big difference when you're talking fishing. So what happens if you don't have a good swivel in there and you're jigging, what happens a lot of times these fish are going to hit when you do that pause. That, and when I pause it most of the time, it's only for a second or two and that's when the fish are going to hit is what happens if you don't have a good swivel in there that line is that bait is sitting down there just spinning like crazy and there's no way unless that fish is starving to death that he's going to hit that so by having a good swivel in there that's going to take all that line twist out of there so that's real important the other part is that when you're using a spoon especially when it doesn't have a snap ring going through it is you want to make sure you got a good snap on there and otherwise what happens you're not going to get that side to side rock and again you know it's amazing how these little things make such a difference so make sure you got a pretty good snap on there too hey that's mike's country meats tip of the week i'm mark green i'm patrick lynch welcome to our all new lynch waquanago dealership the brand new Lynch McGuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre-owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexilaw, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexilar technology, and Vexilar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexilar.com. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves at being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Ricky and I'm with the Women Ice Angler Project and we're here on beautiful Lake Mille Lacs. It's a little chilly this morning but it's supposed to warm up. Hey I'm Hannah Stonehouse Hudson. Chantel Whitstruck from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Hi my name is Shelly Holland. Bonnie Tim. Hi my name is Barb Carey and uh, what we're doing out here on Lake Mille Lacs is part of the Women Ice Angler Project. This is a media event just to get the word out to uh, women and companies that make equipment for women about what a great opportunity it is for women to do this. Some women really don't do it and we're trying to get them involved and uh, we're just trying to get some media coverage to show the products, show the people and we want to create opportunities for women to get more involved. Um, this year we invited team member Ashley Lundvall with um, Clam came out with this new shack called the garage and this whole end opens after um, a veteran talked to one of the presidents of Clam and said hey I, I want to ice fish but I can't get in the shack so Clam came up with this shack that the whole door opens so the track chair can come in so I had Ashley on the radio last year and I um, got to know her that way and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to introduce Ashley to uh, ice fishing because she then in turn has a huge following and can really get the word out to other people that have some type of 
limited mobility. So it's just kind of an educational event that we're doing. And Ashley, uh, what do you what do you think of ice fishing so far? I really enjoy it. I think it makes a big difference to have the right people with you and the right gear and that's exactly what we have and so it's a good way to learn and it's a good way to show other people what's possible with the like i said right people and the right gear you can get just about anything done in the outdoors hey karen you gotta oh there you go karen that's awesome all right what'd you catch that fish on Oh, this pretty little perch color thing. Perch is always a hot color. Perch is always a good color? Always a good color. This isn't a really big, big, beautiful one, but it will be someday. Yes, it will. It will and it's a fish. Yes, it's a nice walleye. <laughs> just keep, keep, <laughs> keep going. Something. Yeah, no. don't, don't. Do you not have to move yeah. the rod? Just, okay, just, just real. Keep going. Nice and slow. Nice and keep slow. Tension. That's the All fun right, part. Good job. <laughs> yep. All you gotta do is get them through the center of that hole, Ashley. And it looks like a decent fish. Something's pulling. That's yeah. Sure. Let's see what you got. All right. Oh, wow. nice! Oh, oh awesome. there you go. That's Look a nice that. fish. You wanna hold them up? Is that your first walleye? That is my first walleye nice. on the ice. Wow. Awesome. That is so How cool. cool is Good that? job, Ashley. There you go. Well, still, it's still a nice fish. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's a fish. It don't have to all be ten pounds. Hold that up for the camera. Did that come on that waxworm again? Those are waxworms, Larry. Do you have any waxworms for me? Uh, I just want one. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of dead. Even care. Well, as I was gonna say, it doesn't matter. So I can't believe you say it's kind of small. Who cares? This is like this time of day. You're lucky you can catch a fish on this lake, and we just caught three. Hey, in the kitchen, Steve Schaefer, the Shotgun Chef. I have Adam Jordan. Someone went to a fish raffle, right? You uh, yep. Yep. won a big, huge pork line, threw it at me and says, Steve, what do you do with it? So here's what we're gonna do. Take your knife, you poke some holes on an angle, put it on an angle, going in about halfway down. Take the sliver of onion, we're gonna sliver some onions, shove them right in those holes. Remember where your holes are. Yep, yeah, put them in, put them in. Put them in Stick up. Some raisins in there too. The raisins will get uh, the juice from the raisins will come out. Show them right in, Jordan. You know, when you guys are engaged, you get married, it. right? So, <laughs> no, huh? not quite. Not yet. Not quite. Well, you're living together, right? Oh yeah. So someone's got to learn to cook. We got to get a dog first. What do you mean a dog? Yeah. You're supposed to be breeding Max for us. I'm working on that. <laughs> I'm working on that. How many so yeah, shove them in. Yeah, quite a few holes. We'll put the onion. Yep. Beautiful. Some more in there, girl. Let me slice it for you. And what's gonna happen, we're gonna throw in the rotisserie and it's gonna spin. The juice from the, the pork is gonna go with the onion and the raisins, the raisins will get a little softer and it just adds more flavor to it. And then we're gonna take John Fossey's rub here, Johnny D's pork and chicken rub. This stuff is crazy good. I'm gonna do a dry rub on it. Put the dry rub on. Smell this, Jordan, huh? It smells good. Mm. It's a lot of mixture. Flip it over, don't be shy. Do the other side. What it does, it makes a nice bark on this pig. And the rotisserie puts a sear on, so the outside gets really crispy and the inside stays nice and juicy. Once again, pig, again, you don't have to cook it till it's gray, gray, gray and dry. All right, let's pull this one out, see what it looks like, and we'll shove this one back in. That's how you prep it, folks. Let's see what she looks like. That looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Yeah. See how that nice stiff bark on there? Let's see what one tastes like. Make this for your wedding? <laughs> Bossy, nice. Nice part. I love this seasoning yeah, on it. That's really good. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, Kitchen, for shotgun, uh, wedding. Let yeah. Me know. <laughs> we'll let you know. I'll, I'll make this part. <laughs> Work on a dog for you guys? You can, you can cater for us. All right. Good. <laughs> Salute.
For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. It's the Wisconsin Fishing Expo at the Alliant Energy Center, February 24th through the 26th. Now with a new second floor, giving anglers over 110,000 square feet of rods, lures, reels, boats, and motors all under one roof. New big name speakers, new ice carving contest Saturday, new free concert from Pat McCurdy Saturday from 6 to 7.30 with paid expo admission. Meet Green Bay Packer Bill Schrader Sunday. Youth seminars with free gear, free face painting, casting competitions, and more. Go to wifishingexpo.com for more info. Kids 12 and under free. Well, I'll tell you what, what an awesome day and a half up here on Mille Lacs Lake. I've never ice fished this before. I'll definitely be back. Hey, Barb, I really appreciate you having us up here and filming this whole event. Why don't you tell everybody out there what you have going on? I know you're all about getting more women involved in the outdoors, and let's talk about that for a little bit before we leave. Okay, this is actually a media project. We're okay. just trying to create uh, magazine articles and photographs and stuff like that to share the word about the great sport of ice fishing to women and everybody. People that have some barriers and they thought maybe they couldn't do this, we're changing their minds, we're proving they can. So all, our website is theiceangler.com. And notice they say angler and not fisherman. Right, I yeah, love it. Yeah. Right, <laughs> so, nothing wrong with that. We have a Facebook page called Women on Ice and Outdoor First Media is filming. They have a lot of content. We're doing a lot of handy tips, a lot of educational stuff. So check out our Facebook page and they'll link right back to Outdoor First Media. And Larry, thank you so much. Hey I Barb. Know you're a great supporter of this project. I certainly am. You know, anytime it's, it's got anything to do with getting more people involved in the outdoors, I'm all for it. And what an awesome day and a half again to spend with these great ladies. And I'll tell you, like I always say, just remember what a great day to be alive. <laughs>